so good morning. Welcome. We are starting our day of eating like Albanians, uh, heading to the gym. But before we do, we'll have our, our traditional Albanian breakfast. It seems that they just have coffee and espresso with some sugar and a cigarette. I guess, I mean, what else do you need to get your day started with a lot of energy? seems like it's going to be perfect so I'll start by having that with my water I'm probably not going to elect for the sugars we'll just have a traditional black espresso and we'll start the day I guess it's part of the cafe culture but they just meet up in the morning for not breakfast but just for a really loud chat the amount of times we've seen them and then we see them leave they just they sit at the table they have their coffee they have their cigarette they give each other a little kiss and then they walk off and start their day I also want to say B is incredibly excited for today. Yeah, I know today is going to be very special. <laughs> Travel, train, E, and look, yeah. all today. <laughs> Quick session at our gym for anyone that's interested. It was at Elite Sporting Club. We thoroughly recommend it. As long as you kind of know what to do, don't need like the, it's not overly commercial, but it's a nice enough gym. Now it's time to go home, take some shower and get ready for our day of eating. is like the Albanians with Starbucks, <laughs> but much better. <laughs> I can assure you it's much better. The latte is better, the sandwich is everything. The reason why we're here is because, as we said before, the Albanians doesn't really like to eat on breakfast. They just drink coffee, but we do. And a very, a very Albanian thing is just to have sandwiches. Also, we want to get some work done, so it's very convenient. We love the place, we love the sandwich, the coffee's great. They also have a little bit better service than Starbucks. Rather than writing your name incorrectly, they call it out, as you might have already heard. And they have people going through the whole place, ready to clean up and keep it. It's, it's very nice and tidy. It's very comfortable. This one in particular is very busy because it's right near the city center, but we enjoy it. It's one of our top spots to go and work. And eat. This. This is the main thing. This is delicious. Uh, it's like the vegetable ciabatta, they have the grilled vegetables and cheese inside, Take as you can see. Oh, yeah. As you can see here, <laughs> how about the sandwich? Aubergine. Here are delicious, or as Americans say, eggplant. <laughs> and of course, latte, soy latte. All right, time to split this. This is basically a cinnamon roll, but with pistachio cream on top. And it's delicious. It's like very creamy, soft tape. <laughs> it's a lot more bready than a like pastry. Is that, is that make sense? It's not pastry. It's a. It's, a, it's like a cinnamon roll. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. A couple of quick notes on this Maliri place. We call it like the Starbucks of Albania, not because it has any, I mean, it's got a bit of a Starbucks-y vibe and people come here to work on the laptops, but also there are lots of chains. There, there are Maliris everywhere in Albania. I think it's one of the only chains. Maybe there's one or more that goes everywhere, but Maliri is the main coffee chain throughout the country of Albania, throughout the whole country, which is very different to most of the coffee shops and most of the cafes here that are just real simple, like mum and pup's place that do espressos and basic coffees and maybe some pastries. This is this is a lot more of a Starbucks-y vibe. Also, interesting to note, you can reserve tables ahead of time. So I didn't know that was a thing, but that's a thing here. Um, it's the only place that they have soy milk that we found that we can get instead of dairy milk, which is always a good thing. 
If you come into here or any coffee shop in Albania and you want a sweetener of any sort that isn't sugar, you'll need to bring your own because they don't do them here. Luckily for us, We came here with the idea that we were going to show off how busy it was at lunchtime, but I guess because we had our breakfast real late, we had a late lunch. It's now, yeah, like half three, so it's nowhere near as busy as the normal lunchtime traffic, but it's still good and we've still got some fresh bureks. And it pays just like... How much does it cost? Two dollars for all four, and this was 60. It's like $2 for this. So $260 left. Yeah. This is very hot and fresh. Look, <laughs> this is even, and it's very good. Mm. Okay, very good. Very fresh. Budeks are found all over the Balkans and you get different types in different, not only just different countries, but different places within Albania, like you've got I think all, most of the pies are different variations of bureks. Not bidek, spelled bidek, but bureks. And they can be stuffed with spinach, cottage cheese, or meat. Those are the two, three most common ones. Ah, and tomato it's as well, yeah. Tomato, tomato, onion, yeah. I mean. But those three are the most common, and they can be eaten basically for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or just a snack. Uh, it doesn't really matter, and they're really cheap, really easy to get, and absolutely, 100% delicious. Also consistently freshly made throughout the day. So sometimes they'll not have, at different places, they'll not have certain flavors based on what just what they've got ready. So again, more with the freshness rather than just being frozen and then like reheated or whatever. <laughs> things or food things about being in Albania is the quality of the fresh fruit and vegetables. Absolutely phenomenal and I've probably also already said this that it's kind of hard to describe why it's so good. It just all tastes it does it tastes fresh, right? Like it's you know why it's so good? Why? Because mostly it's all organic. Ah uh, yeah. In this place is must be a hundred percent all organic. Uh, I can't tell about the grocery stores and stuff, but this little Yeah, shops. they have lots of little shops selling fresh fruit and veg, and they have loads of farmland around Albania. Perfect weather for it, and thus they make just really good peaches, nectarines, apricots, grapes, plums. What else? Uh, that's probably it, right? Yeah, it's the main. A real tropical fruit, and then all the vegetables. Phenomenal. I don't feel like we need to do a fruit review, but I do have a plum here, and it's very fresh. And juicy. It's probably not as interesting as going to a restaurant, but the fruit here is so good. Mm. It's so good, and it's gonna keep me chicken over for work until we go to dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. You might have seen us vlog from a park near the center before, and now that park is about to be built all over, which is why you can see every day these guys have been out protesting. So maybe it's gonna be a big couple buildings or apartment block by the time this video comes out, or by the time you're watching this video, or maybe they succeed with their protest and it ends up being a park still. All right, on our way for our meal number four, that's three. Uh, yeah, apart from the fruit. Stop this is it? Yeah. Oh, so this is a place we haven't been to. Should, should you, should you finish? I'm not going to try and pronounce that name, but it's another traditional Albanian food restaurant. We yeah. came here before, no, we didn't book. Ah, we came right. here before, but we didn't book. And we were told to bugger off and go away because they didn't have food ready for us. But today 
We made sure we booked early. Um, and we are ready to go. We've, I think B actually knows exactly what she wants on the menu already, so let's go in and eat. traditional for what I know <laughs> is cornbread of yogurt mm -hmm. this is a fried zucchini traditional also like a salad and this is cheese with peppers cottage cheese cottage cheese with peppers yeah, yeah. got here some fresh breads and it's coming another cottage cheese with vegetables but we're too hungry so we're let's too try hungry, it yeah. <laughs> let's see this cheese with peppers It's very, very tasty. I was gonna, what are we gonna try? I wanna get one of these fritters. Mm. You can come. Hello, my dude. How do you enjoy? Let me do it. This is cheese with more spicy. It doesn't really taste che cheese, for what he said. It just tastes a lot of cheese and peppers. Let me try. He said to dip this in this. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, you'll yeah, like that. Yeah, forget it. I love forget Good olive <laughs> taste as well. Next up, the balsamic is great. The little garlic on the top is great, but... Oh yeah. The vegetable is, is just amazing, it's huh? really, really good. I'm very excited for this one because I love cornbread. So, wow, oh, this is very good. Oh yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm very different. I don't think you would put I would put yogurt at home, but this is very good. Very good. I'm not sure if my favorite is between those cheese or the cornbread. <laughs> Everything is just so good. What about the what about the vegetables? Well, this is also very good. I don't know. It just like everything so tasty and nice. What about also just the bread? That just bread, bread is so good. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, we didn't talk about. Quite, yeah, quite dense, but good. I mean, you thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling very full. I'm not sure about you, but I'm full. Well, full, <laughs> full from dinner, but does that mean you have, you can't eat any more? No, 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 no. <laughs> when you're full for dinner, you're full from dinner, not, we're not full from, like, for desserts or ice cream or... <laughs> mm -hmm. There's already a little space in my stomach reserved. <laughs> but, uh, we'll recommend this place, thumbs up. Compared to Odo, which one is, which one are you going to rank up? The one from the other video or this one? It's, it's just they, they have different things. This is a, this this is a, the beauty of this. <laughs> they, have, they serve different food. You'll have to come and try both, and then comment below and let us know which one is your favourite. But both very good. We'll put links to both in the description. Place, so they have a lot of patisserie stuff <laughs> and ice cream. They're our favorite place around our apartment. It's another popular place, but the only downside to this place is that the nice outdoor seating gets packed out really quick, so you have to jump on your spot. Pistachio and hazelnut. You got just hazelnut, and she likes you extra, so she gave you. Look at those. I, I'm oh trying to. Oh my god. Yeah, I asked her to put the chocolate on top, and she did. It put it all. <laughs> He's our favorite, huh? <laughs> no, this pistachio one's very good. We've eaten more ice cream here than any other country. But also, uh, we've been told these ice creams here in Albania mostly are Greek, not really Italian. 
so I think that's why there's a little bit of a difference. It's not actually Italian, it's their Greek. Uh -huh. Not all the place, well, most of the place. The name is Kinder Bueno, but I have no idea what it is. It must be like a moose cake again, like the others. Yeah. Like a moose or something. Oh, yeah, it's good. Does it taste like Kinder Bueno? Slightly. Oh. Like chocolate and cream? Like Kinder eats uh, creamy, like style mousse yeah, around the outside. In the inside, you've got uh, a chocolate sponge. Caramel and like Dulce de Leite style, like on the outside. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it'll just grab it well. I have to let you guys know what we're tasting in a way. So, can you taste that? Can you understand what I'm describing? And does it sound tasty? Let me know in the comments. Uh -huh. Comment below which of the foods that we ate today you would like to taste. Whichever one you'd like the best, let us know in the comments below. And of course, hit the thumbs up because that really helps out and ah, if you're just joining us for the first time hi we're tjmb we travel around and make fun videos as we bring you along with us visiting interesting places and doing interesting things all around the world so subscribe and join us Bye. <laughs>